Okay, so I'm just going to try and demonstrate how to mend a hole in a pair of tights. Um, as you can see, I've got a pair of tights here, I've got a hole in. Uh, they're already turned inside out. Um, and what I need to do, well, I'm going to use an orange for this. Um, you can get uh, nice little wooden kind of mushroom things that help you with this job, but an orange works just as well, and it's all I've got. So uh, I don't know if you can see here, um, but basically tights are made of a knitted fabric. So if you imagine a jumper coming unraveled, if a, if a thread broke in a jumper, how that would come undone? Well, this is really similar. You can see all of these little chains of stitching in lines. I mean, this is a really fine gauge, so it might be really difficult to see, and I'm struggling to get the camera um, to focus, but hopefully you can see all of these little lines. And I need to pick up basically a loop at the end of each one of those um, to stop it from running and coming unraveled. I've already got my needle here, um, which has got a knot in the end, um, which is threaded, it's got a knot in the end. Um, and I'm just going to start by trying to pick up each of the loops. Tights are already inside out, so it doesn't matter um, that I'm going to end up with a knot on this side. So I'm just going in and out, um, picking up. So I'm going up the side here now, so along the line of the chain. This isn't so important. The important thing is that at the top and the bottom, so coming in to here now, we're picking up each of those little loops because if we don't capture them, um, then that's where the tights will run and um, you know, the hole will carry on getting bigger. So I'm just going to turn that around. Need to stretch it a little bit in order to be able to see. And that's where working against the orange or the little wooden mushroom thing, if you've got one, uh, is quite helpful. Just struggling to see that, but hopefully I'll pick them all up. And I'm going to come back down this side till I've gone all the way around. Just doing little stitches. Um, and coming back to my starting point. Now I can use the thread to slightly draw that together now. And then I'm going to do another set of stitches where I join the two sides together. So just pulling those bits that I've already uh, captured. I'm just going to pull those together. This hasn't unraveled that much, so it's not like there's loads of missing fabric that I need to be uh, replacing. It's just really a cap um, question of capturing those loose ends um, and drawing the whole thing back together. It looks like I missed one there, so I'm just going to make sure I've captured that. Just pull it together and oh, it's taken a bit much there. Pulling it together. Um, you don't want to stretch it too much over the orange to do this because you're at risk of uh, making it all, you know, putting stress on it while it's still broken and, and it will kind of, you'll make the problem worse rather than better. Uh, but actually, it's the stretching it that enables you to see what you're doing. So now, yeah, it looks like all of those ends have been captured. There's nothing that seems to be running. I'm just going to tuck in that last little bit. 
um, and then take a little stitch to finish off. And the way I do this is you stitch till you've got a little loop. You can see that it's black on black, so it's not very easy. Till you've got a little loop and put your needle through the loop, which creates another loop behind the needle. And if you go then back through that one and pull really slowly, um, that should finish the seam. And I'm just gonna weave in and out along the line of the mend so that I don't have a loose end. And I can now very carefully cut off the thread. Um, and I can turn this through and see if I've done a good neat job. It doesn't really matter on these because the, um, the mend is quite high up the leg. But I don't know if you can see that. This is where I've mended it. Um, so that's how you mend a pair of tights uh, with some ordinary sewing thread and an orange. <laughs>